What? 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Bye. Oh, wow. That was Topper Shut calling me to tell me the big storm's coming. <laughs> Thanks, Topper. <laughs> A little late. They kind of... So here's another morning. Okay, this is the 13th of June, 2013. Now, remember about a year ago, we had that big derecho. The derecho is that big, you know, it's like one of those uh, weather front thingies that forms in the Midwest, and then it just pushes itself rapidly across the country, three, 400 miles, going over Pennsylvania to North Carolina, and it, and, and it just steamrolls across the country with hot, high winds and heavy rains, okay? Now, we got one of those nasty derechos a year ago, and now we're all ready for derecho two. So there was a bunch of thunderstorms in the Midwest last night, you know, in, in Indiana and Ohio, and, and of course, the remnants of them are pushing over the mountains this morning. And really, it, okay, it was a garden variety you know, line of storms. You get them. Yeah, they had a few hailstones up there in in Westminster, but in the Washington area, it just was some wind and a little bit of rain, not even anywhere near severe, but all the hype, 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 you know. Now, I realize, you know, we have a thing where they want to keep people safe. You know, we want to let people know that, you know, if it's going to be a storm. We want to keep people safe. But on the other hand, there's a lot of ratings pressure to do this. Get the ratings up. Get the, you know, the traffic up to the Capitol Weather Gang there at WashingtonPost.com. And and the problem when you overhype stuff that doesn't materialize is that people stop believing you. You know, that's the problem you're going to have. That if you overhype this, overhype. I'm not saying there's a way to. There's there you know say something like, you know, today's weather forecast, there are some strong, potentially strong storms that will approach us in the morning. Uh, some areas could get high winds and heavy rain. Be on, the, be on guard. And then leave it at that. But you just, you know, it's like listening to WMAL's weather forecast newscast this morning. They must have mentioned storm 12 times. And then you hear the dreaded D word, derecho. They're, they're hyping stuff to the point where people are, and then it doesn't materialize. People... Somewhere down the future, when there really needs to be hype, um, they're not going to pay attention. But what the hell? We got the traffic. You know, the, I'm sure the Washington Post Capital Weather Gang traffic was up this morning. So maybe they'll get a nice little bonus check from Kat Katie Weymouth there. You know, uh, you know, it just it's not, that's kind of the way it works this these these days in this modern media is that you hype, 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 regardless of whether it's you know scream and hype and yell. You know, I'm listening to the, the weather forecast this morning, I mean, the newscast this morning, and the stock market could crash! It may or may not, but it might! Well, yeah, it could always do that. And then, the heavy storms are gonna! And if they don't, heavy line doesn't hit us this morning, it'll hit us this afternoon! Man. I don't know, man. It just makes me, what a bunch of douchebags. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyhow, the line of storms came through at about 8.30, quarter of 9. It, was just, it, was, it wasn't even much, you know. We, I think, whatever. Anyhow, the big news today, look at this. Da, 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 da. Super group, Gannett. The reason we are reporting this, of course, is Gannett is headquartered right here in the D.C. area at Tyson's Corner. They're apparently buying out or merging with Bello. Bello, okay, so Gannett. Here are the stations that Gannett owns, okay? And as you can see, Washington is their top station, WUSA Channel 9. And that's market number eight. And of course, then their other big markets are Atlanta, Phoenix, Tampa, Minneapolis, Denver, Cleveland, Sacramento, and on and on, all the way down to Bangamane, Portland and Banga. So they own a bunch of stations, okay? And then Belo, Belo, they actually have a station in Dallas, two stations in Dallas, or a station and a cable news network. So that's market five, so that's a little bigger. And then they own stations in places like Houston, Seattle, and uh, all the way down to Norfolk there. So that's going to be a pretty big group. That's going to be like 40-some 40, 40 stations. 43 stations. Of course, it's not as big as Sinclair. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just close. We're closer and closer to the day where it will be just one giant company that will own all the TV stations. <laughs> So, I don't know, you know, whoopie doo, whoop, whoop dee doodly do for that. So, I get a, um, I, I love getting these, like, you know, memos that come in, 
and the local radio ratings. And one of the interesting things I'm following these days is the local Hispanic radio market here in the Washington area. You know, we've got two major stations and a couple of other minor stations, okay? And when you look at the radio ratings, Hispanic, Latino population, um, it's basically turned into a battle now between El Zol, 107.9, and La Nueva, WDCN 87.7. Okay, now El Zal has CBS behind it, probably one of the one of the largest radio companies ever. You know they're huge, the media company. You know they own TV stations and networks and everything else. So they're there, and El Zal does pretty well in the ratings. I mean they were I think seventeenth overall. But the problem that El Zal has is their signal. They're on 1079, which is based out of kind of the Annapolis area. So when you get into, you know, they can hear them in Northern Virginia, but when you get into some areas like Prince William County and stuff that have fairly good sized Hispanic populations, they're harder to hear. So along comes this little, much weaker station. It's called WDCN. It's actually a television station. Now you notice a couple years back the FCC said, well, we're going to flip all the TV stations over to digital. Well, except, of course, for some low-power stations, which have some kind of, I don't know why, but they have some sort of a loophole that they still can broadcast in analog. That means that their audio can be heard on analog radios like what you find in most cars. You know, most of your most radios in America are analog radios, just plain old-fashioned AM, FM radios, which are analog. Well, if you're running on Channel 6, if you have your low-power station on Channel 6, the audio frequency for channel 6 is right below the FM band at 87.75, okay? And most radios tune down there. Even though the FM band starts at 88.1, most AM ra FM radios go down to 87, okay? Because some places in Europe and some places in Asia, they have stations down there, the, the you know, below the end of the FM band. So most car radios can tune into 87.7 and 87.9 and whatever like that. So... So this radio, this TV station, it's a low-power TV station, something like 3,000 watts, with a signal, I believe their transmitter's in Arlington, and they broadcast as a radio station. Basically, they do run some video information or whatever, but basically they're, they're broadcasting as a radio station, listened to on 87.7, and it's called La Nueva, La Nueva and they also broadcast a, to the Spanish-speaking populations of the Washington area, giving us basically two more or less full power stations. Um, and they were crowing heavily that uh, even though they're a lot weaker than, than you know, WLZL, Elzal, and they're not backed by a big company like, it's more of an independent -y little station, but they're beating out Elzal in some of the major market, major demos, especially with younger demos like 18 to 34. So that's kind of interesting. Now, what I'm hearing a lot about the Elzal, I mean, the um, La Nueva people is they want to get a deal done because eventually the FCC is going to say, you know, all TV stations have to be digital, including these little low power stations. So when that happens, you're not going to be able to hear that audio carrier on your analog radio anymore. So they want to find a deal where they can maybe move somewhere else in the Washington area on a regular FM frequency, you know, with a little more juice and to become a real radio station, not a TV station pretending to be a radio station. So I'm hearing a lot of rumblings, and it's been going on for quite a while, that the folks at La Nueva are trying to make some kind of a deal with somebody. You know, if, if La Nueva was on a bigger signal, and with their younger skewing demos, it could be a very successful radio rating situation. You know, they're 23rd in the radio ratings now, which is, made, you know, it's better than WNEW, it's better than WAVA, it's better than some of the other, it's better than WFED, some major stations in the market. And if they could get on a better FM signal, more power, they might really be a contender, especially with WLZL, you know, being an inside the Beltway signal versus WLZL out there in Crofton or wherever the hell they are out in Anne Arundel County. So, an interesting thing to watch there. Now, there's some other Hispanic stations in the market. You know, we've got quite a lot of AMers. We also got this new one called 106.3, which is, um, gosh, I can't forget. I forget what they call themselves. I'm thinking of La Mera Mera, but that's 1050. Uh, whatever they call themselves there at 106.3, it's actually WKDV, which is Metro Radio, which is headquartered here in Vienna. And uh, they, have a, uh, they have a 1460 AM, the old WPRW, KDV in Manassas. And they're broadcasting now on 106.3, which does have a fairly good signal in Northern Virginia and is showing up in the ratings. You know, they are, they are a player. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with them. Now, I would say, you know, what is... Um, 
Metro Radio is getting this 97.5 signal out of Bethesda, okay? That's coming online pretty soon, and they're, they're say they're going to put WTNT on there. I tell you, I'll tell you something. It would be smarter for Metro Radio, instead of putting a righty talker on 97.5, to put um, the Spanish station KDV on it. And then that would give them that would give them the 1063 signal in Manassas in Northern Virginia and a 975 signal in Southern Maryland and into DC. That would, I think, get them some ratings. Uh, WTNT, uh, I don't know. You know, they have a fairly decent signal now and they're not generating the ratings. Because basically, I don't know how much I think there's a bigger market for a youth oriented Hispanic format and um, something that um, you know than there is for an uh, older skewing righty talk format. So I think Metro Radio would be smarter to use that 97.5 frequency out of Bethesda for this uh, Spanish station. On, so they could have KDV on both 106.3 and 97.5. Um, I mean, I think it would be even a smarter deal if, if Cumulus would make some kind of a deal with the guys that run um, La Nueva there at 87.7 maybe to put that on 105.9 and move MAL back to 6.30 full time. You know, I, the ratings on MAL aren't that big. I haven't improved that much being on 105.9. And then Cumulus could go back to having three stations on um, in the market rather than two and be billing more. Hey, it's all about the money, honey. <laughs> all right, folks. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Thanks for watching Dave TV for this uh, for this 13th of June, 2013. Don't forget to help support the site, okay? I got a number of advertisers. You know who you are. That are really being slow to pay this month, and I'm running. It's like they're slow. <laughs> I mean, they're good advertisers. They've been with me for a long time, but they're slow to pay. So, uh, send me some money. Keep the cash flow going. <laughs> really, seriously, help us support DCRDB. We got DCRDB Plus. Uh, you know, it's got a whole bunch of cool radio memorabilia, memories, things, and TV and stuff like that for DC and Baltimore. So, help support us and get access to that. And you'll be, uh, you'll be happy every moment you're at DC RTV Plus. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV for this uh, 13th of June. Um, oh, my God.